Outrage is growing in Uvalde, Texas, after surveillance video of the Robb Elementary School mass shooting was leaked. It shows the gunman crash the car he was driving, then enter the school. You hear the rapid fire of bullets and then see more and more law enforcement officers gather in the hallway, but they don't enter the classroom for more than an hour, even after more gunshots are heard. Officials said parts of that video would have been shown to the families this weekend, but our ABC affiliate KVU and the Austin American Statesman obtained it and published it yesterday, quote, to provide transparency to the community. Senior investigative reporter Aaron Katursky joins me live now for more on this. Um, Aaron, uh, officials there are saying that this surveillance video was supposed to be released to the victim's families first. So what more do we know about how it was leaked and why? Well, that was the plan, to give it to the families, allow them to see it in private before it was displayed for the public. And, and that may have lessened the, the, the shock of just having it uh, published by a, a newspaper at a television station. We don't know how uh, our partners at, at, at KVU and the Austin American Statesman ended up obtaining it, but they uh, published edited excerpts and then posted the whole 122-minute video online for everyone to see. And they did it, as you said, Diane, in the name of transparency, because transparency has, has seemingly been lacking. Uh, a number of officials have declined to answer extensive questions about what went on at Robb Elementary School. There still has not been a, an official investigative report. We know lawmakers are working on it and expect to release it publicly sometime by the end of this month, perhaps as soon as next week. And, and that potentially could go a long way We've heard what went on in the hallway. Now we simply see for ourselves the agonizing moments where officers are there, where heavy weapons are there, where ballistic shields are there, and still uh, the, the officers do not confront the shooter. Aaron, does this change the investigation in any way, having the public now see this video? Well, it may increase the demand for, for official answers to, to see whether lawmakers are, are willing to try and hold law enforcement officers accountable for their actions. We still haven't heard publicly from the on-scene incident commander, Pete Arredondo of the Uvalde School Police Department. He has resigned his post as a city councilman, but remains, as far as we know, on the job. And the superintendent is another official who has declined to answer substantive questions. And, and, and now the, the, the public can see for itself what happened, who was in there, and then the questions will be, what were they thinking? From whom were they taking direction? Was there any thought about going in? You do see officers in those initial moments uh, running toward the classroom, but backing away when it became clear that they thought they were being fired upon with a, with a semi-automatic rifle. Now, the sheriff also testified this week. What do we know about that? Uh, well, the, the sheriff is one of those who, who may have had uh, a phone call or something about, about the incident. Did he properly respond? Uh, were his deputies properly informed? This really does go, Diane, to a question of command and control of communication. Uh, were, were radios working? Were radios present? Uh, we hear the officers chatting in the hallway. Were they communicating what they were hearing to, to the commanders on, on the outside of the school? Uh, but it's it's just mind-boggling. There was uh, one point well into the massacre where, where somebody with a, a, a ballistic vest goes over to sanitize his hands, and still children were there in the classroom with the gunman. All right, Aaron Katursky, it's a chilling video to watch and a story that's chilling all the way through. Um, we appreciate you staying on top of it for us. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.